Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers once again, and welcome to Harris County Judge Ed Emmett. It's always nice to have you on. We try to solve the problems of the world and Harris County. We always run out of time, That's but, right. but we'll try to. I'm reading this nice little brochure, Astrodome Reborn. I have a question for you, though. Yes, sir. Why not tear it down, be done with it, have a big celebration, put a plaque there, and pfft, you wouldn't have a lot of distress. Oh, I would have a lot of distress at that point because people uh, would come unglued. The Astrodome is an iconic structure. It's paid for. It is structurally sound. And it, we can use it as an asset to generate revenue that then can be used to keep NRG Center and NRG Stadium and that whole complex. The dome is just one building mm -hmm. of the whole NRG complex. And as we were going through, gosh, year after year of what to do with the dome, uh, the voters said, we don't want you to borrow any money. Okay. Commissioner's Court listened, unanimously came back with a plan that the auto show, the boat show, OTC have all said, this is great because it creates eight to nine acres of open space under cover. And the environment we live in, having that kind of, mm -hmm. of acreage under cover is wonderful. Think of, uh, you know, we're about to start into the rodeo. What if the rodeo moved all their food court? Right now you sit out on curbs and streets move the food court and the kitty rides and all those things undercover, uh, that way they're not subject to the weather. Senator John Whitmire has, uh, has a bill in Austin now saying he wants to put it before the voters. Why is he doing that and what's your response to that? Well, I can only uh, go by what he said in the newspaper. And the first thing he said was uh, they should be spending that money on NRG Stadium, Toyota, Minute Maid, and Dynamo Stadium. Well. Three of those don't even have anything to do with the county. Uh, so it wouldn't even be legal for us to spend our money on those other three stadia that he talks about. And NRG Stadium, we are under contract with the Texans and the rodeo to maintain it in a certain condition. This dome uh, idea allows us to generate revenue to do that without going to the taxpayers. Have you talked to him at all? Have you had a conversation? Uh, long ago, but not since he filed the bill. We exchanged text and he was too busy to talk. But that bill is unprecedented. No time in Texas history has a local government been told that they have to have a referendum on how to spend their money unless they're asking for a bond. And the commissioner's court, the vote on this was what? 5-0. And going the, forward, what do you think that his bill is going to do toward? Well, of course, this? the bill has to pass the Senate and the House and be signed in the Well, law. you're a former Right. State so guy, I, so. I understand it's a lot easier to kill a bill than it is to pass a bill. But the, the whole concept is so fundamentally flawed. I mean, originally he said this had something to do with the sports authority and their ability to pay off the stadium debt. Chairman of the sports authority, Mr. Friedman, said doesn't have anything at all to do with that. So, so it's holding things up now for the time. You're, you're optimistic that this is not going to go through, but in the meantime, it's slowing down anything that you want to do. It, it is slowing down because, for example, we were about to, to let a contract to do a thorough analysis of all the buildings out there. Right, and you'd already approved the money to do that. Right, yeah, right. But now, if we don't know where the, what the status of the Astrodome is, we have to put all that on hold and wait. You should know that uh, I invited Senator Whitmire to come, but they, they're in Austin now, so he couldn't really get away to do it. So, uh, Senator Whitmire, I know you watch, so do you want to give him a call so you guys can get this squared away? I mean, he hadn't had time, so maybe he has your number, right? He has my number, <laughs> okay. and we, we have exchanged texts, but, but we have not uh, spoken on the phone. Okay, as you no doubt know, you found out through the years there's no shortage of opinions about what Absolutely. people think about the Astrodome. I got one of them from Paul and Ann Merriman, who suggest a variation of something that we've heard before. They said, make it a Star Wars-themed museum slash attraction, let Universal or Disney run it, and, and there needs to be some excitement with this deal. And they say, that's their two cents. They say because a parking lot and a meeting facility has zero excitement for Houstonians who would surely, uh, surely cause another voting loss if it went to that. But if that's all we get, better, it's better than blowing well, it up. That, that's the perfect question because what the county is doing by putting a new floor at ground level, uh, that makes it much more usable. Then we can turn the rest of it over to a private entity like the Astrodome Conservancy that's already been formed. This is not the final step, but what we're trying to do is use the taxpayer dollars to get it off of our plate and so that a conservancy like the Astrodome Conservancy or some other group can come in with all of these whiz-bang ideas. This isn't the end of it, but we had to make this first step in order to make it more uh, 
appealing to private interest. Well, something, this seems very personal to you in terms of just well, being the guy at the... Ch and I just happened to be here at the time. I mean, if you ask me what are my priorities, I would put, you know, mental health and transportation and indigent health care and a lot of other things, but this building <laughs> is, is what people want to talk about. Mm -hmm. But it is, at the end of the day, it's just a building. Right. But it's fully paid for, it's structurally sound, and I think it's an asset that we need to use for the benefit of the whole park. All right, well, we're done with Astrodome for now, but thank you for being here. We have some more to talk about. I do anyway. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs>